So I bought new snow tires yesterday before it snowed. Uh, it's funny, just as I was coming home with the tires, the road just started getting covered. And uh, now, as you can see, there's only six inches. So I'm not going to plow my driveway because I want to see how it is to come up and down with the new tires. These tires I bought are supposed to be the best, and we're going to find out. Now, what these are, they're just kind of a step up from what I had. What I had on here, they were getting bald, and up here you don't want to really have crappy tires. So these are, uh, they're Nokian. Uh, just kind of getting more and more popular in uh, North America. I'm here in Canada, in British Columbia, so uh, six months out of the year we have snow and ice and whatnot. They're called Hakapalitas. And if you ask me to spell that, <laughs> uh, it'll be up there. <laughs> These tires, they're finished. I don't mean they're done. They come from Finland. Uh, they've been making them there for quite some time. In fact, Nokians are or were the first to ever make snow tires. Nokian made a snow tire in 1935, so I think that's 1935, 89 years, is that right? And they're predominantly like a snow tire company, and now well, they branched out now. Originally they, uh, they made soles for shoes, I believe before getting into the snow tires. So if you Google who made the first snow tire, it's going to tell you Nokian made them. Uh, another little bit of history. Well, if, if you Google who makes the best snow tire, these come up as the best. A lot of people like, uh, well here, what's more known would be something like those Michelin X ice or... Uh, What's the other one? Uh, Blizzax, stuff like that. And people don't really know about these. I think these are priced a little better. And I've seen the stats and these definitely come back as better. But we're going to find out. I'll make videos over the winter showing how these actually work. The thing about these tires is they... They put some, I don't know the technical word for what they, they mix in with the rubber, this stuff. And it, it basically, it works like, it's like mixing sand in with the rubber. It makes your tires like, kind of like sandpaper. And as they wear out, there's new grains of sand. But it's not sand. It's something else. For the most part, if you live somewhere where it snows a lot, then you pretty much want to have snow tires and you want to have the best tires. You don't want to cheap out and end up in a ditch going, wow, I should have bought the better tires. So it's highly likely that the roads haven't even been plowed yet. Um, I have to go on a uh, fairly long drive. It's normally a two hour round trip. It might be three hours in this weather. We'll see how the tires work. It's one thing about the winter, there's no noise. One other thing I failed to mention, this is one of them dadgum electricity cars. If you look between the tire tracks, you can see the cars actually plowing. <laughs> it's 
So first thing you notice with the new tires, <clears throat> it's way quieter. Not sure whether that's because they're brand new or just because the, they've upgraded them from the original ones that I had, which were the Nokian two, R2s to the R5s, which I have now. The road is slippy right now because uh, the temperature is close to zero and it's deep, it hasn't been plowed. Seems you're going pretty fast for conditions. Not complaining, I'm just saying that's pretty fast. Normally, I mean, in a four wheel drive, how fast would you be going? I don't know, we'll probably catch up to a few. Um, but, um, <laughs> well, it's just cutting through those ruts in comparison to the tires we had on before. accelerating to get up the hill, right? to mention about uh, these tires is these tires aren't EV tires they're not electric vehicle tires they're just regular tires because an electric vehicle is a regular vehicle and you can just use regular tires they do make a EV tire Nokian for these I think the only real difference is they have foam inside for soundproofing to make it quieter but these tires are pretty quiet anyways and they might have a better rolling resistance rating but I don't think so these have a really good rolling resistance rating anyways we're about to go up this slush hill and this is where I mentioned in my previous video you have to use something called slip start you're you have to cancel out the traction control. Uh, let's do this. that back just to slip start right there. Now it's just four wheel pausey. <clears throat> 